day everyone, a very warm welcome to you, this is Crazy Music Plays. My name is Nick from the ZX Spectrum, I'm looking at a homebrew called Free Octopuses, published by Kaz29, or is it Kaz2G? No, I think it's Kaz29. In 2017, it's been authored by AGD, using that sort of like utility, which is a arcade game design, uh, and it's written by Alexei Kashkarov, who is Kaz29, or Kaz2G. Anyway, so this game is a bit unique really, you need to guide these three octopuses back to their grandmother and you are a jellyfish. I don't think it's based on a true story. You'll soon get the idea of this. Now the uh, the octopi or octopuses bounce around a bit oddly, swimming in all directions and we must guide them like a sheepdog guiding sheep, but we do it at one at a time. You'll soon get the idea. Right, okay, so some interesting sounds on this one. Uh, does look quite gorgeous. Here comes the first octopus. And it bounces off me like a trampoline. If we can release that starfish, we get extra points. So let's release the starfish. I think it's going to release it. No, it's not. See, as you can see, the octopus doesn't quite do what you tell it to. Uh, his two brothers are waiting there, or sisters, in the top left. There's the, uh, well, the grandmother is like a pink octopus, a magenta octopus, a bit like that one on the left, but we must get it to, well, over about a number of different screens. So there's not too many games like this. Sometimes the octopus gets um, guided by a bubble that might randomly come up, but it looks pretty gorgeous. There you see, a bubble got in the way. I'm trying to get, if you haven't noticed, I'm trying to get this yellow octopus to get on this ledge here. Get on that ledge, there we go. There we go. So it's the next stage now, and I have to, you know what to do, don't you? It needs to bounce down, but he never does what you want him to. Right, I mean, I've got that starfish for bonus extra points. Now, if you've completed this one, let me know, because I certainly won't complete it here. We're playing it from the standpoint of what it would have been like in your first and second go, and would you, if you had it as a kid, which you didn't, because it's 2017, uh, would you have gone back to play it again? I think I would have done, but I think it would have annoyed... It looks beautiful, but I think it would have annoyed me a little bit. If the octopus jumps, well, falls down the bottom of the screen, you can see it dies, and we don't want that. So what sort of world are we living in where an octopus can't find his grandmother unless he's got helped by a jellyfish that's acting as a trampoline? Well, I don't want to live in that world. Crazy as it sounds, free octopuses. I might rescue one or I might rescue none. I know no cheats for this game, but as homebrews go, it is quite novel, it's a new idea, and I'm glad it's not the same as all the other platform games that's at the moment, although the platform games we looked at are quite good, they are starting to look a little bit samey now as we look at one after the other. This goes in a different direction. Why isn't he going over there? Go over there, you fool. Right, he's there, good. Now, I think, yeah, see, look, a puffer fish is going to be the fool in my side here. Or the, um, yeah, right. Maybe I can hover on the pufferfish to... Oh, man. I think uh, this jellyfish might as well go somewhere else because this octopus is clearly a nincompoop. Nincompoopin. Now, I would I would recommend tracking this one down, but if you haven't got the skills, it could end up annoying you quite uh, a lot, which is doing, is doing to me um, a bit already. Right, he's across. Over there. Let's fluke that, I think. Good. We've done it. That's how you do it. If you are a yellow octopus searching for your grandmother, then comment in the comment section below. Right, hang on a minute. That's good, that could work. Well, that's... Yeah, that we've done that, haven't we? Now, this looks super tricky. What are those things? Are they magenta eyes? You can't go back to the previous screen, which is just as well. We need to weave around here. Maybe we can get it low. Don't fall down. Oh man, get underneath the thing. We've got the we've got the starfish again. That's it. Get round here. Oh, why is he going that way? Oh no, I've just undone all my good work. So you can see, can't you, quite quickly where the frustration in this game lies? And he's oh, he's been directed by a bubble. Hmm. Man, man alive, Clive. Right over here. Duh. Why don't octopuses? you know, pay more attention to jellyfish. I do like those uh, bubbles that come up when they actually touch each other. Oh, get there, no. Right, come on, you don't need too much. There you go, there you go, right, next stage. Down we go, let's weave down here. Yellow octopus. It'd be good if I can actually get one of these guys home. That would be quite nice. Hmm, 
Now uh, this channel doesn't have any swearing on it, so we try and aim it at a PG level. So if you're watching with your kids trying to get them into 8-bit gaming, you can do quite safely without mention without someone saying the words like uh, blow off or something equally as rude. Uh, but uh, I, this is going to um, this is going to uh, test me, I think, a little bit here. But uh, yes, right, come on, octopus. Do -do 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 -do. Right, okay, he's not dying because he hasn't gone off the bottom of the seabed. We need him to go up. Oh, why isn't he going up? Oh, he goes up now. Come on, through there. Oh, man. Oh. I think this octopus should be on his own, I think. We can't have too many stages left to go, but it does look gorgeous, doesn't it? Look at all these nice bubbles going up, especially that one on the top uh, right there. Up. Up. There we go. There he goes. Good. So we're, we're doing quite well in this game, considering. Now there's a crab which could cause some problems. So if the octopus hits the crab, then it's... Well, it's death, isn't it? We all know that. Hopefully we can go over the top and he stays out of the way. Don't know why an octopus be, um, well, being attacked by a crab, but there we go. Don't let... Oh, look at that. I think, I think that octopus committed suicide, I think. Uh, under the sea, under the sea, under the sea, under the sea. We're under the sea, folks. Yeah, right. Oh, why has he come back that way for? I don't think. I don't think this guy really wants to find his grandmother. I really don't. I don't think octopuses have a hierarchical system like that. I don't think they respect their grandparents. I don't think they even know who they are. They don't invite them round for Christmas or phone them up or anything like that. Off we go. Right, next next stage. Get past this crab there. I think he's got his own nebula named after it. Oh no, it's called the Crab Nebula. Ow. Jeepers Jiminy Jones. Game over. Three, two, two, one. Dead octopuses everywhere. I think we. Uh, I think I should have another go on this one. I think I should have another go. It's on. It's on easy mode at the moment. Uh, let's put it on easy again. I love these kids. Do you really? Well, you need to get a life, jellyfish. You need to uh, concentrate on your own life and do something cool because um, these these uh, these octopuses are the most uncoordinated sea creatures I've ever seen. And I don't know what this starfish bonus points is about either. Right, you just want a great white shark to turn up, like those ones in Scuba Dive, maybe. Actually, with this graphics engine, I wouldn't mind seeing Scuba Dive 2 or something. Scuba Dive by Jurel Software, of course, a classic game. If this one had come back in the day, I think it would have got good reviews. I think it would have been popular. But it would it would have annoyed me big time. Nice as it is. So if you're into these sort of games, it's like a, I suppose it's like a puzzle game, really. If you're into these sort of things, then uh, um, track it down. If you're easily frustrated, don't track it down, as much as I can say. Kaz29. Alexei Kashkarov. Good. There we go. Lots of, lots of great homebrews. This is a few years ago at time of recording. Well, only three years ago. Before the dark time, before the Covid. Who'd, who'd have known? Who'd have known that, eh? Right. Put your favourite C 8-bit game in the comments section below. It's got to be underwater. I can only think of a few. Scuba Kids, if you've seen that one. Uh, scuba Dive. Um, Aquanaut. No, Aquanaut was on the Commodore Amiga. Jaws Revenge. That was interesting. Uh, Jaws. There's been a, been a few, isn't there? Been a few. Oh, man. Get across there. Why isn't he going across there? The octopus is... A, he's a nincompoop. Right, he's going there. Right, now it's pufferfish territory again. I don't think I've got the will to keep doing this if I don't get a bit of luck here. Look at the animation of that sea plant moving about. Didn't need to do that, but it's adding to the atmosphere. I didn't notice that the first time round. That is pretty cool. I think it's a sea anemone, is it? Or some crazy plant doing a, doing a sort of disco dance. I don't think it's that plant out of the adventure game because that was a that was a pop plant. Planet Arg, that was, if you know that's, that show. From the 80s, um, if you don't know it, then uh, do a YouTube search, the adventure game or the Planet Arg, and it will come up. Right, that was good, that. I never knew, fully knew what was going on in that show, but I did like the vortex and the talking uh, plant. But I digress again. We're a jellyfish trying to get this dumb cluck of an octopus to his to his grandma, 
And I think I, I don't know why she wants to see him. It'd probably be easier if the grandma comes in this direction, wouldn't it? Big as it is. It could probably chomp up this all all this stuff. Hmm. Jellyfish. Is there anything good about jellyfish? You can't eat them, they'll sting you. Um well else they don't go to many parties. I don't know what a jellyfish is for. What's the point of a jellyfish? Well that's evolution really. Uh how anything can still be here is that it evolved and it didn't do it. And that's it. That's all you need to do really, just don't do it. Survival of the thickest, fittest, or jellyist. Right, I think I damn it I've got too much more patience here. I can't get him past that puffer fish. Oh, that puffer fish is annoying me big time. Big time, sublime big time. Right, let's have one last go at it. I think we might have fluked it last time. It was a big old fluke. Right, through you go. Right, that's got him onto that side. Now I need to get underneath before he hits the hits the bottom. Don't go back across or I'll be very annoyed. No, oh, he's died. Do you know, I think we'll leave that one there. I think we'll leave that one there. So I hope you liked having a look at that one. It's really good graphically. I liked it, but it's got some frustrations on it. You need a bit of practice. So that was Free Octopuses on the ZX Spectrum, published by Kaz29 in 2017. So Alexei Kashkarov, really. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome, or any homebrew tidbits. I love hearing your comments. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.